Iron Man showed up and snapped. There was quite a bit of gore. They could have chosen better <laughs> actors. It's chilling. Oh. I'm literally just tearing up thinking about it. What are you about? The whole plot seemed to be really confusing. Why a TV is everyone show. hating on this movie? It was great to see Wendy Williams. Oh, Wendy Williams. Williams. She was the saving grace of this movie, I swear. Why did I bring my kids to this? just watched Barbie and Oppenheimer, and here are our thoughts. And yeah. I am there with them. Philip is yep. here. He's yeah. right there. <laughs> I'm not at home in front of a green screen. <laughs> Alone, sitting in my basement. <laughs> Why would we do that to him? Speaking to himself, it wouldn't make any sense. So, we're gonna give you guys our kind of review, and at the end, we're gonna let you guys know which one we think you guys should watch. Which one was better? Personally, so my favorite was Oppenheimer. I didn't yeah. think Barbie was anything to scoff at. I really enjoyed Oppenheimer as well. I like the one. <laughs> Clearly we spent too much time with each other. Yeah, speak for yourselves. <laughs> I also liked Oppenheimer more than Barbie, but I feel like I didn't like it as much as Angela did. Yeah, Philip and I, we were like, I'm sorry, this is like such a good movie. It was so like, no. meta. I really like <laughs> how, like the concept of Oppenheimer was left to interpretation for the audience. Like, he left thinking, like, who is Oppenheimer? What is Oppenheimer? Is Oppenheimer the bomb? Is Oppenheimer the god? Yeah. It's actually the bomb that took over the world. And now the whole world is Oppenheimer. I just really think one of the most integral parts of the movie was the whole Oppenheimer mission that was introduced near the end. Um, and how it all came together like a big puzzle. Yeah, also, I particularly enjoyed exploring the psychology of everyone involved <laughs> and how that progresses over time, because it really does, you can you can tell the natural progression of order of things that goes from point A to point B, and all the transition that happens in between. And they did a crazy crossover with Iron Man. I did not expect Iron Man, that's the only part I liked, is that Iron Man showed up and snapped. I know! I just And I don't think they could have chosen better actors to reenact World War One. So I think that they were the best pick, actually. I have seen some Christopher Nolan movies before, specifically Dunkirk. Going from Harry Styles to Josh Peck as the main character, or one of the main characters, is a little bit of a downgrade. I will say, in Josh's defense, he got some of his lines transferred over from Drake and Josh. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was really good. Yeah. And I feel like I learned so much about, like, you know, bonds and stuff. Yeah, like we could definitely okay. cut it. Cut. No. <laughs> that was really boring. And so is Doug Kirk. If for nothing else, boring. I say watch the movie just for the visuals because you really can't go wrong with the explosions that happen on screen. Yeah, They're really, I fell asleep. They really are something to marvel at. <laughs> Those explosions really pack a punch, especially in a theater. Yeah. You it's really feel like you're there at World War One, experiencing the atomic bomb in real time. And the countdown, oh, that countdown was chilling. Oh, I, know. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. Yeah, we were like, no. I'm literally just tearing up thinking about it. No. So, Barbie. Yeah, the segue next to movie. Barbie, that was really clean. The Barbie movie was meh. I really feel like the trailer hyped it up a lot. And then in the end, it's so good, but just not quite as good as I expected. I wasn't a big fan of the Barbie movie personally. The whole plot seemed to be really confusing and there was no unifying theme that everyone kind of seemed disjointed. And having these different characters from different worlds enter the real world and having to, you know, understand the idiosyncrasies of people behaving from a What's fictional happening? world in a real, <laughs> tangible, non-fiction world. Right. I'm sorry, but the, the graphics on that portal, you know, that, that scene where they yeah. were terrible. I mean, if you what seen, are you talking about? If you've seen the Smurfs, you know that there are ways to edit a portal and like going through a portal. And I, I just want to say yeah. that they really blew their budget on, you know, costume because that portal was yeah. just... I agree. It just, I don't know, it kind of looks like a TV show from the 90s, but... Here we are, 2023. We need to be able to edit. You can tell it was just another film. low budget Why TV show. Why is everyone show? hating on this movie? I don't hate it. I, <laughs> I thought, I I thought it was the one who just liked this movie. Diversity? We're on point. Yeah, the diversity is amazing. I mean, oh my gosh. That Erica Ferreira, that one black girl. Yeah, Issa Rae. No, we got our representation. It was colorful, it was bright, it was like happy. It wasn't Oppenheimer. I didn't like that. Barbie, it like brought joy to my life, you know? 
I do think that they yeah. spent a lot of screen time with her in jail. You know, it was great to see Wendy Williams, but like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah Wendy, Wendy Williams. Williams. She was the saving grace of this movie. I swear. Wendy oh Williams and Mackenzie Zales, those were the only two that made the movie worth watching, in my opinion. Oh, Wendy was hilarious. And so, although I didn't really like the movie in general, I will say that it's probably worth watching if you're really into pop culture. They did have a really strong emphasis on pop culture, and just for that reason, I think it's going to be popular with the younger generation. I love how they made it, like, a, like, partially true crime with Ken in the hospital, and then, like... He did some stuff that I probably can't say out here. You don't want to spoil it too much. I would say like 14 a.m. Oh, so maybe you're right. There was quite a bit of gore. Like when you watch the trailer, I didn't know they were actually going to hand him something short. <laughs> when he gets torn limb from limb and there's, there's no blood. No. Like, why did I bring my kids to this? Yeah. I like to bark the movie a lot. That's my recommendation. Watch bark. Oh, yeah, I liked Oppenheimer just because of the visual effects. It was flashy and big boom. I think Oppenheimer had a much better plot, so my vote's head to that one. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go uh, with uh, oh. Barbie? <laughs> yeah! How did you know? Oh my gosh, my heart is with Oppenheimer. But like, I think Barbie is, is what you go for when you're you're in the mood for some laughs. You don't get laughs yeah. in Oppenheimer. Not a one. Yeah. Not yeah, I think that Barbie also had its fair share of being meta. I feel I like it has a lot of lore it, it didn't really compare. Into it too. Sorry, you should to do. Yeah, <laughs> Seeing these movies on opening night is always like the best. It is, because the crowd is so rowdy. Everyone is just like here for it. No, we're not putting that in. I don't want to sound like Jitsi. Everyone is just. <laughs> everyone is, um. You say vibrating? No. Everyone is just so. in it. Right. Especially when Barbie, like, fixed her feet. <laughs> Everyone started clapping. Everyone started clapping at the end. It was wild. It was, it was like a standing ovation. You know, they're tiptoes too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone I was shocked about how many, how many cosplay people showed up to the theater dressed as like Barbie. But not just I know I did. Barbie, like the crazy Barbie. And then people came to Oppenheimer with balls. <laughs> <laughs> really getting into the spirit of the movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, overall conclusion? We're divided. Yeah. Since we're divided, we both like equal. I think that that's what this whole Barbenheimer thing was about. Like, two out of every four people will like one of the two movies, which is why we're so divided. Go see both. We do the, the closing. The closing ceremony. <laughs> Bye. 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 Cut. 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 Do you guys finish filming? You're done filming now? Okay. Okay, so am I.